back. Welcome back to Political Talk with KD. I'm excited to have you guys back listening again. Let's jump right into it. So I just wanted to give everybody a quick synopsis of what political talk with kd is because um some of my followers on instagram are very confused um and later i'll give you the good news on why i'm giving you the synopsis okay so political talk with kd was originally created for the younger generation in arkansas to be aware about things that are happening in politics political talk with kd is being able to get information that we may not even see on the news. So I'm not worried about Tennessee. I'm not worried about Texas, Georgia, Memphis. I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm not worried about no news regarding that because that has nothing to do with the state of Arkansas. Now, next week, you will see how things can tie in when it goes to a different state. But we're not there. So you never have to report to me about something that's going on in another state that has nothing to do with Arkansas. Just wanted to make that clear for you guys. But on a lighter note, let's get to um something good. So you guys, I know some of you guys are having a hard time really um keeping up with the episodes and, you know, maybe some of our streaming options isn't working for you so guess what you guys we are on youtube now no i am not behind the camera um if you guys listen to my live on instagram you guys i was so nervous i noticed like i wanted to get behind the camera you guys to just see how it was gonna go but being behind the camera that's like that's completely different y'all like I know me talking to y'all, it seems like it's not hard, but it really is because you have to plan for these podcasts. You have to plan for um, when you're doing an Instagram live, you have to, you know, know what you're going to say and not be nervous and speak confidently as if you were talking to a full room of people. And sometimes that is hard. Even now, like you see, like, I'm talking, but it really is hard because I'm by myself, but I'm still filming this episode. But yeah, we're going to get through it. I did not think like, you know, being behind the camera would be that hard. But I did the test. Um, If you guys go to at KDEE political talk, you can see it. But the great news that we guys have um, again, like I said, we got a YouTube page. Um, Make sure that it's the same um at name if you have to look for it or you just search it up kd well political talk with kd all right so let's get into what the episode is about so i don't know if you guys seen on my instagram page but i basically posted a post that said did you check your mirror today and i posted a mirror and i was in the mirror and basically under in the mirror it said biggest competition Um, When you get to a point in life where you know that you are your only um, biggest competition, you really don't got pretty much you don't got nobody to worry about because you just worrying about yourself because that's your biggest competition. So I just wanted to give you guys like a pretty much. A little a little some, but I'm going to get into let's get into it. So basically. Here lately, when I've gotten this like podcast, I've been seeing lately, I've been having conversations with people or I've been having, um, trying to promote myself and just talking to people about it. But one weird thing that I found with the people that are close to me or the people who work with me that I know of is I wouldn't even say it's not jealousy. It's more of comparing yourself. Um, I've heard some people close to, um, close to me saying, oh, I wouldn't do that because, you know, I wouldn't want to, you know, be competing with you or I've heard, and that's, that's absurd to hear. Right. I know. But I've heard some people say like, um, no, I don't want to start my podcast because somebody will be thinking I'm being like you insinuating that I'll be thinking that you're trying to be like me. My thing is, and this is my whole spiel. Like I said in my post, whatever you do is what you do because nobody else can do that but you. And I want all my listeners to know that right now. Nobody can do what you do but you. And guess what? Nobody can also stop you but who? You. 
Nobody's going to be looking at me when it's you. Uh, Kadarius Snapper did not start podcasts. Kadarius Snapper did not start the YouTube channels. Kadarius Snapper did not start none of this. I hopped along on the trend and got my own path and did my own thing. Now, if you're on my... If you're on my path trying to, like, you know... Do the same thing that I'm doing. Like you got a, a, a political podcast like me, then we got a problem. But if you want a podcast talking about um uh Benny and Clyde, they going around shooting up the chicken stove, that's your business. I'ma support, I'ma like, I'ma follow, I'ma share. Okay. Um, I just feel like overall that's weird. And that's why I put in my post that comparison is the thief of joy. You cannot keep comparing yourself to somebody or trying to like constantly trying to be like them because you will never flourish. Like I said at the beginning, like if I like I said a while ago, I am my biggest competition. I'm not worried about none of y'all. And I'm and when I say not none of y'all, I care I truly do care about all of my listeners, but I am not in competition with my listeners. I hope that you listen to me or if you listen to this podcast so you can get more awareness about political things that are going on in Arkansas. Not to have status in Arkansas. It's like a help me help you thing. Okay? Because I get some of this information. I don't just know all this stuff. Sometimes it comes to my DM. So we're helping each other by me telling everybody else what's going on. Because we deserve that right. We, We deserve the right to vote. Okay, so let's bring it back in. Let's bring it back in. Let's bring it down because I did just read y'all. I'm leave y'all alone. That was just to the haters, to my listeners who ride for me and who ride for the podcast and who ride for the cause. Um, I appreciate you guys, and the resentment in my voice was not toward to you guys. It was towards the haters in the back who constantly think that we're in competition and we're not never can be you cannot compete where you can't compare hello sorry and that's that on that but why do y'all do that like do you think like i want to know do everybody think that that's just like something that you do like compare yourself to others like is that a human thing Because sometimes, like, I ain't gonna lie, I fall short of it. But it's like I see it, but I don't necessarily display it, you know? I'll just, it's more of a feeling thing for me. Based off of that weird stuff, I just also want to meet with all the content creators. And I I said this in my post. I want to meet with everybody real quick. So, stealing my content on my page is not gonna fly anymore. Like, I feel like at this point, I gotta start watermarking things um a lot of advocates of arkansas are seeing my page and not following me back but are still in the same concept that's same social media concepts that i am using for marketing purposes and my thing is let me join the team hmm follow me comment like we can all win (laughs) My thing is, if your avenue and most of those advocate pages is towards like that's something else. Yes, it all ties in with politics, but that is not, you know, I'm politics. It's a new guy in town. And I feel like that's why I don't ruffle a lot of people feathers. Hello. I just feel like. I'm going to call my house representative and I'm going to tell her to draft a bill up right now about social media content stealing. She needs to draft that bill up right now and she needs to get the center, somebody on the Senate side to help her because this is just ridiculous. (laughs) Like, if you're going to listen to my stuff, um, Watch my page, steal my same concepts, at least show the support back or tag me or something. Because at that point, you're just getting free promo off of me. And I, I just don't 
I really just don't feel like that that that's right. But to wrap it all up though, on a better note, like you know, because we don't I don't just want to be going off the whole episode. Um, like I said, this podcast is about politics, you guys. I really want to indulge. That was one of my goals this year. I want to indulge more into the community. I want to be more aware about things. And um maybe here soon I will be running for some type of office, but that's not decided yet. But for now, I just want to be more aware about what is going on in the state of Arkansas. And I believe that it's important for the younger generation also, not just me. So now I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, Apple Podcasts. Apple Music. There is no reason why you guys should not be able to tune in or not be able to support me. I appreciate all you guys once here again. Thank you for tuning in. Political Talk with KD. Once again, you guys, this next, I don't know if I want to do an episode. I'm going to do an episode and I'm going to do an Instagram Live because this next episode... I'm going to give a hint. It's, it's towards Pine Bluff, Arkansas. It's going to shake the table because it's a lot of content creators who have been hitting on it. Y'all, this story that I've got for you guys, no, not even the, the news. The news have been sheltering the information for this guy. But guess what? Political Talk with KD is going to be right on it. So make sure you guys tune in for the next episode. Um, Before we leave, though, I want you guys to focus on the concept of why I posted what I posted on Instagram. So, since we we talked it out, we hashed it out, we said what we had to say, I want you guys to go in your mirror right now. Everybody, get up. Get up. I need you to get in your mirror. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Get in your mirror. And I need you to look at who's in that mirror. Okay? Look at who's in that mirror, and I need you to affirm with yourself. Say it after me. I am strong. Say it. Okay, good job. I will conquer today. I will conquer today. Good job. Then you're going to say, I will not steal KD with political toss content. All right. And that's how you affirm yourself. You affirm yourself and you stay strong, you guys. So make sure you keep up in there. And I want you guys to tell me on your Instagram, on my Instagram post, what did you see in your mirror? Did you see not to steal my content anymore? Not to steal my content without giving me some type of credit or a follow, at least some or a like. And I also want you to know that you are strong. And you are going to conquer the day. Every day that you wake up. So thank you guys again for tuning in. See you guys on the next episode.